Imagine an electric car that not only costs less, but also eliminates the three biggest fears looming over every modern driver's mind. That's exactly what Elon Musk revealed with Tesla's aluminum ion battery, promised for 2026. In just 35 minutes of announcement, he turned the tables with a formula that sounds like something out of a futuristic movie. No risk of fire, no degradation before 15,000 cycles, and no supply limitations. This triad, informally dubbed the three no's, could be the game changer needed to truly become unbeatable for electric cars. When it comes to safety, the collective memory still carries images of cell phones catching fire, scooters exploding, and cars engulfed in flames due to lithium battery failures. In 2022, more than a million power banks were recalled in the United States after reports of overheating. And that's not to mention the recalls of e-bikes and scooters. Tesla seems to want to put an end to this era of insecurity. By announcing that its new packs will have virtually no fire risk, the company is not only protecting its users, it's shifting the pressure onto other automakers that still rely on traditional lithium batteries. But this proposal goes far beyond safety. When Musk talks about 15,000 cycles without degradation, he's addressing one of the biggest Achilles heels of current EVs, premature wear. For those who drive daily and depend on their car for work, knowing that the battery will maintain its efficiency for more than a decade is like having invisible insurance against costly unforeseen events. This also paves the way for a new mindset in the market. Cars that last longer, that don't become scrap in five or six years, and that appreciate in value rather than plummet in resale value. And what about material shortages? Another specter of the electric sector. While cobalt and lithium face geopolitical disputes, controversial mines and volatile prices, aluminum emerges as an unlikely hero, abundant, recyclable, and cheaper. By eliminating dependence on critical raw materials, Tesla can finally scale its production without encountering logistical bottlenecks. And, of course, this reduces the final costs of cars, paving the way for affordable vehicles, including the long-awaited Model 2. But the three no's aren't just a marketing ploy. They have profound implications for consumer confidence. For the first time, an automaker is promising that you can drive for decades without fear of overheating, loss of performance, or having to fight for replacement batteries on the gray market. It's the kind of promise that changes behavior. People who were hesitant to switch to electric vehicles may reconsider. Families who were wary of putting children in an EV are beginning to consider the leap. This move also puts a magnifying glass on the competition. How can the continued use of flammable batteries be justified in 2026 when there is a safer, more durable alternative? Automakers that have settled for lithium's slow advances now find themselves pressured to pursue solutions they don't yet have ready. And this changes the balance of the game. It's no longer about who has the fastest car, but about who has the most reliable, cheapest, and most durable battery. In fact, talking about durability without considering environmental impact would be ignoring a crucial part of this equation. The longer a component lasts, the less waste it generates. A battery that doesn't need replacing in 10 or 15 years means less toxic waste, less mining, and less transportation. The idea of a car that lasts longer and is less harmful to the planet fits perfectly with the expectations of a consumer who, today, is increasingly aware of a product's full life cycle. And here comes the final no, the end of supply constraints. With a global market hungry for alternatives, Tesla may be taking the first step toward a new energy independence, producing on a large scale with abundant resources and reduced geopolitical risk changes not only the final price of the car, but the stability of the entire production chain. The industry begins to breathe a sigh of relief, and consumers can finally believe that a safe and affordable electric future is no longer a promise. It's a reality on the way. If there's one thing that's always made drivers wary of electric cars, it's the risk of fire. It's not paranoia, it's statistics. 
From smartphones exploding in your pocket to entire vehicles engulfed in flames after minor collisions, the history of lithium batteries has left real scars on consumer confidence. Tesla seems to have listened carefully and decided to attack the problem at its root, completely changing the battery's internal structure to something that simply won't catch fire. And the solution came in aluminum, that common and surprisingly heat-resistant metal. Unlike traditional batteries, which use flammable liquid electrolytes, Tesla's new aluminum cell eliminates any material that could ignite. No volatile solvents. No liquids that, when leaked, fuel flames. Instead, the battery's core is solid and based on a three-dimensional high thermal efficiency design. This honeycomb-shaped internal architecture not only sounds like something out of science fiction, but actually multiplies the cell's surface area by five, facilitating heat dissipation up to 40 times better than lithium. Aluminum, by itself, already offers much superior thermal resistance. While lithium begins to enter the risk zone around 120 degrees Celsius, Aluminum operates comfortably between 200 and 250 degrees. This doesn't mean it heats up more, but rather that it can withstand more heat before becoming unstable. And here comes the detail that makes everything even more interesting. This battery is self-cooling. The structure itself helps distribute heat, preventing it from concentrating in dangerous areas. But what really makes the difference is the nano-ceramic coating that covers the aluminum cathode. It's such a thin film, just 0.5 micrometers, about one hundredth of the thickness of a human hair, that it's almost imperceptible. Yet it plays a vital role, smoothing the path through which aluminum ions flow. This fluidity prevents the formation of energy congestion that, in older batteries, caused so-called hot spots veritable heat traps that could trigger silent explosions. Another well-known villain in lithium systems are dendrites, tiny metal needles that grow inside the cell during repetitive charging. They pierce the internal separators, creating dangerous short circuits that often lead to flash fires. With aluminum, this phenomenon simply doesn't occur. The material's composition and the fluidity of the ions prevent the formation of these deadly filaments. It's as if the cell design itself were immune to the structural error that most haunts the industry. And the most impressive thing is that all this safety doesn't require heavy armor or complex active cooling systems. The battery itself is the protection system. This reduces weight, complexity, and even maintenance costs. It's the kind of solution that doesn't just improve technical performance. It redefines what safety means in the context of electric cars. Drivers no longer need to rely on external sensors or wait for alerts. Risk, in fact, ceases to exist. The data is clear. In Tesla's internal crash tests, the probability of fire in aluminum packs was just 0.05%. This equates to one fire for every 2,000 serious collisions. For comparison, lithium-ion batteries have a 2.5% risk under the same conditions. This makes the new system 50 times safer in accidents, a number that does not go unnoticed even by insurance companies. And what about everyday life? Imagine hitting the road in the scorching heat of a Texas summer or cruising along Arizona highways with the asphalt reaching 90 degrees Celsius. With aluminum batteries, the system maintains its internal temperature below 60 degrees C, even when the car is running for 14 hours straight. This means less thermal stress, less wear and tear, and, most importantly, more peace of mind for the driver and passengers. Instead of driving in fear of what's hidden under the floorboards, drivers now drive with confidence, knowing that a true thermal fortress resides there. Most drivers don't think twice about extreme heat until they feel the steering wheel nearly melt in their hands. But what really suffers on these summer days isn't the bodywork or the air conditioning, it's the battery. In regions like the southern United States, where road temperatures can exceed 90 degrees Celsius, the challenge is keeping the car's electrical system stable and safe for long hours. And that's where aluminum begins to show its true advantage. This new Tesla battery doesn't just withstand the heat, 
It operates as if nothing were happening. While lithium ion cells begin to experience thermal breakdown at 120 degrees Celsius, aluminum cells continue to operate without stress up to 250 degrees Celsius. This difference practically doubles the vehicle's thermal safety window. In other words, even under the scorching sun, stuck in a Miami traffic jam or accelerating through the Arizona desert, the system doesn't panic. And most importantly, it poses no risk. Heat is no longer a silent enemy hidden in the car's floorboards. This thermal stability eliminates the need for heavy, active cooling systems. There are no more noisy fans, coolants, or sensors adjusting battery performance every minute. The cell design itself solves this problem, with the honeycomb structure dissipating heat before it can even build up. This reduces the car's weight, improves efficiency, and, of course, simplifies maintenance. Fewer moving parts means less chance of failure. In real-world conditions, the difference is striking. During testing, Tesla engineers simulated 12 to 14-hour driving sessions in ambient temperatures between 43 degrees C and 46 degrees C. At the end of the experiment, the aluminum battery remained stable, without overheating or performance declines. Meanwhile, lithium batteries in similar situations required speed limits, mandatory cooling brakes, and in some cases, triggered emergency protocols. This doesn't just affect performance, it affects the driving experience. With this new technology, drivers no longer need to look at the Tesla app and wonder if the cooling system is okay. They no longer need to avoid afternoon driving in the summer or choose shadier routes. They simply get in the car and drive as if the battery were invisible. And this sense of normalcy in an industry so full of technical details is perhaps the greatest innovation of all. And if we consider the impact of this resistance on fleets of intensively used vehicles, such as taxis, ride-hailing apps, or delivery services, the scenario becomes even more interesting. These vehicles spend their days on the road, with long journeys, little time to rest, and constant exposure to the sun. The aluminum battery adapts perfectly to this rhythm, requiring no interventions or special care. This could change the logistics of large cities, with fewer stops, fewer replacements, and more autonomy. Another relevant point is the battery's performance in tropical and humid climates, such as Brazil's. Here, the heat is constant, and temperature variations are intense. Having a battery that maintains stability in any conditions is a clear competitive advantage. It delivers the same performance in the winter of Curitiba and the summer of Manaus, without the driver needing to make adjustments. And that's rare, rare and valuable. The truth is, with this absurd thermal resistance, aluminum isn't just beating the heat, it's redefining what true durability means in an electric car. Because lasting on paper isn't enough. It has to last in the real world, on the streets, under the sun, in the chaos of traffic, and in conditions that no laboratory can perfectly simulate. And that's exactly what this battery promises to do, without fanfare, without effort, and most importantly, without melting. If there's one thing that worries any electric car owner, it's battery life. After all, no one wants to invest heavily in a vehicle only to find out, a few years later, that they need to spend over $20,000 on a new battery. This is the kind of headache that makes many people hesitate before switching from a combustion engine to an electric car. But Tesla has decided to address this uncertainty head on. With the new aluminum ion battery, Elon Musk promises something almost unthinkable, million miles of durability. It's not a typo. That's right, three million. To put this in perspective, the average driver in the United States drives about 12,000 miles per year. If the math is correct, and it is, that battery could last 250 years at that rate. Of course, no car will last that long, but the message is clear. The battery is no longer a disposable part, but an asset, durable asset, which spans generations of vehicles. This promise completely changes the electric mobility game 
because it eliminates the higher maintenance costs of EVs. This incredible durability is only possible due to a fundamental change in what goes inside the cell, the electrolyte. Instead of carbonate solvents that evaporate and form crusts on the electrodes over time, hindering ion movement, Tesla's system uses a polymer gel with a very high boiling point, around 300 degree to an ICC. It doesn't evaporate, doesn't form solid residue, and maintains internal fluidity even after thousands of charge and discharge cycles. This prevents the natural degradation everyone is familiar with in today's vehicles. And the best part is that this longevity doesn't sacrifice charging speed. On the contrary, aluminum withstands high temperatures so efficiently that the battery can receive high currents without overheating. While lithium begins to lose efficiency at 70 degrees dining grease, aluminum remains quiet and operates at high performance. This opens the door to super-fast charging without compromising cell lifespan, a combination the market has dreamed of for years, but which seemed technically impossible until now. For those accustomed to current EVs, which can charge at a maximum of 3 to 5 C, that is, 3 to 5 times their capacity per hour, this new technology is a quantum leap. Tesla's aluminum batteries promise to accept up to 100 kuf charge, that is, going from 0 to 80% in about 3 minutes and reach 100% in less than 5 minutes. This is faster than filling up a gasoline car, and it completely changes the logistics of charging station stops. Cars that sleep on chargers will be a thing of the past. And there's more. Even after 20,000 complete recharge cycles, the battery keeps impressive 90% of original capacity. This means that, unlike what happens with cell phones and older EVs, the car won't get weaker over time. It will maintain its range, performance, and reliability for decades. This means that range anxiety, that fear of being left stranded, practically disappears from the equation. The driver becomes accustomed to trusting the system and simply driving. These numbers surpass even today's most renowned EVs. For comparison, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, used daily for 30 years, would have its battery depleted about seven times in that period. The Chevrolet Bolt, with its current battery, has a life expectancy of 17 years. Tesla's aluminum-based system, however, surpasses that, times the Bolt's durability without compromising power, safety, or efficiency. It's a difference you can't ignore. With a battery that lasts so long, the concept of an electric car is beginning to transform. Instead of thinking of a vehicle that grows old and useless over time, we're now talking about something that keeps its soul intact, the battery, even as the body ages. This opens the door to modular upgrades, reuse in new models, and even the sale of used packs with high resale value. The future, in this case, isn't about replacing the car every five years. It's about keeping the energy alive for generations. When a battery stops being just a wear and tear part and becomes a durable asset, the impact extends far beyond the garage. Tesla's new aluminum ion battery isn't just redefining energy efficiency. It's turning the logic of value in the automotive market upside down. With a lifespan exceeding 200 years of average use, it breaks with the notion of planned obsolescence that has always dominated the industry. That vicious cycle of purchase, wear, and replacement begins to lose its meaning, and the electric car gains a new status, that of a long-term asset. Today, many models suffer a brutal depreciation in their first few years, mainly due to fears about battery health. Models like the Tesla Model S or Model X, for example, can lose up to 65% of their value in the first 36 months,